Hi everyone, Cynthia here. I just wanted to show you um, a one-page layout that I got done uh, today. I started it yesterday and then um, because it was 4th of July I kind of walked away a little bit and came back this morning and messed around with it a little more and this is what I wound up with. Um, as you know I often don't do one-page layouts but um, I do for kind of things that I feel maybe um, are a little fancy schmancy that kind of thing. Um, so let me tell you what has gone into this layout. Um, it, I did, you should have seen it, looked like an artist studio here. I had a whole bunch of things out and so I'm just grabbing a couple of things to show you, um, what I did. Um, and that way when you guys are asking me how did I do whatever, I'll be able to tell you. Um, Basically, this week, my husband and I celebrated our um, 20th wedding anniversary. Yeah, pretty neat. And um, so I wanted to do a layout that, these are some pictures that were taken this year um, of my husband and I. And um, rather than worrying about, you know, getting a picture down of our actual 20th um I just took two pictures that I really love from this year and put it down as, you know, 20 fabulous years. And I'll um, zoom in on that a, a little bit more. Um, so basically, this is what I did. All right. This is a, let me start in the upper corner here. This is a um, chipboard piece from um, Dusty Attic. I love them. I absolutely love them. And I did quite a bit of things to it. I painted it, okay? Um, and then I inked it, and uh, then I um, <laughs> glitzed it, and shimmer misted it, and just, you know, inked it some more, and kind of went to town with it. And basically, this is what I did. I used um, these. I know I've shown these to you guys before, these Lumiere um, paints. And so like this is what I painted this with and this is what I painted the two birds with and um, the brand, the leaves and that kind of stuff. Um, I also love this a lot, uh, this color. Um, and I actually used this as what you see that brush around, light brush around the entire page. Okay, just that silver to kind of get it in there and kind of tie in the silver from this. All right. And so I basically, that's what I did. I painted it first. And then after I painted it, um, I did ink it a little bit and then I sprayed it and I sprayed it with a whole bunch of different, um, glimmer mists. So I sprayed it, you know, here and there with some glimmer mists. And, um, and then I went back after it dried and I took distress stickles and I just basically put distress stickles over the whole thing and let that dry. And then because my shirt is purple over here, um, I decided to use that as my, um, um, and I, I think it looks blue in the camera right now, but it, there's actually like a turquoise and a purple in there as well. And so I um, used a stickles uh, this is pu just purple stickles, um, but it's looking blue on my camera right now. So I don't know what that's about, but nevertheless, that's purple. And so that's what I did for that. Now, this guy right here, this thing that says 20 years of fabulous. All right, let me tell you what that is. Kind of did a lot of the same things. The only thing I did, this is also a dusty attic piece. The only difference is I actually put, um, what is that, UT, um, over it, crackled it some, in other words, purposely cracked it and then inked it. Okay. And put some gems and that kind of stuff to kind of make it look a little funky. Took some of this paint, right. And put it on my finger and went around. And that's kind of what you're seeing there. And there's a couple of different colors, um, just to kind of make it not so stark. Okay. And so that's really what I did there. Now the tag or the uh, paper that you see behind it, I actually just sopped up some of the extra glimmer mist from when I was glimmering this. I sopped it up and used that as the paper in the background knowing that it was probably gonna match, okay? All right, now let me tell you about this right here. This is, I think this quote is absolutely fantastic. For it was not into my ear you whispered, but into my heart. It was not my lips you kissed, but my soul. 
All right, let me tell you how I did this. This is not a sticker. I actually made this, okay? Um, when I teach this pe to people, their heart just sings, all right? Here's what you do. You get um, uh, transparency. You know, you go to an office supply place and you get transparency, you know, like overhead projector type of transparency, okay? And what you do is you find a printable. Now, I found this printable. I loved it on Pinterest, okay? Got the printable on, on Pinterest, and it is on my, my Pinterest board um, under printables, okay? And so I printed it out. I, I downloaded it. I sized it to however I wanted it, okay, the size that I wanted so it would fit where I wanted it to go, and I printed it out on overhead transparency, after I printed it out on overhead transparency on the back side, on the flip side, so this right here, what you're seeing on the top, that's actually the side that was printed. So underneath on the back side, I took um, my um, Copic markers and just kind of colored in a little bit here and there. See the purple there, a little bit of olive green there. You know, my butterfly has blue and purple. And so I'm actually painting that or inking that from the back side, okay? And you can make your own kind of, um, you know, I'm horrible with rub-ons. They always get stuck in the wrong place and then I can't move it. Uh, this was awesome, you know? And with the rub-ons, you're stuck with what you get. With this, if you find a printable that you like, you can make it any size that you want and you can color it any size that you want. And so I do that quite a bit. Now here's the thing, you can barely tell that it that there's a transparency there. And when it's in the, as opposed to like a rub-on, and when it's in a page protector, you can't notice it at all. So I do that a lot and I really love it. I love it and I love this one for this page, okay? Um, and I think as far as techniques that go, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, this was like, um, um, I got this in like a dollar bin or something, I think at Michael's and it actually had three of these clear flowers. Um, so I actually clipped the other two off to save and then used those instead to kind of match my shirt and my husband's pants. I really went off of the colors of this picture because this picture is very neutral. That a great shot of me and my husband. He's a good looking guy. 20 years, man. He is the bomb. Um, so I actually, believe it or not, I know most people would not think, well, how are you going to do a layout with those colors? Because this is more earthy and this is more summery. Um, we don't match outfits when we go out. So I think I did a pretty good job of incorporating the purple, the teal, um, the black, and the color of his shirt. And I even made sure that I incorporated a little more of it over here on this side as kind of like a little surprise so that I could have my visual triangle. And there you, there you have it, guys. Um, that's just a layout that I had a lot of fun doing inky stuff and technique -y stuff that I really enjoyed a lot doing when, um, when I was teaching um, a class. Um, and then I think, yeah, the only other thing really to show you is this. It's actually heart... Um, um, lace that I got, I think at like Joann's or something, and then I just put a string of pearls here and um, tucked a little bit of it again over here on this side just to kind of make it look like it's going all the way through, even though it's not, because I wouldn't lace that. Okay? Um, I think that's it. I'm trying to think of any other techniques that I actually did, and um, nope, I think that's it. All right? If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to just post them on here and I'll do my best to um, get back and answer them. All right. God bless you guys. Take care.